Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a nail video. I have not done like a nail supply haul in a little bit. Um, you guys know I was doing gel. I was doing the hard gel and it's actually sitting right here in front of me, the IBD hard gel. And my poor little fingers have had a reaction to something and I'm not exactly sure what. Um, and I have read that you can have an allergy to hard gel. So I took the hard gel off my nails and um, there's also another culprit that could be at work. It is a new prescription cream for my psoriasis and one of the side effects of that is peeling and that's what my fingers and my hands are starting to do the skin is starting to peel it is very unattractive it's painful and um i just want it to heal and go away so since i'm not doing the hard gel and i wanted to keep my nails strong and pretty even though my fingers look absolutely terrible i'm not going to show them to you um i started doing the dips and i already had the dip set, you can find this at Sally's. That's where I got it at. Um, I don't have the box any longer. I did throw the box away, but I do have everything that came in the kit. And I'm going to show that to you. And it's right around $40. So not, not bad for everything you're getting in this kit. You do get all four bottles of everything you need. You get the step one, which is your nail primer. You get step two, which is your nail base and your top. You get step three, which is your gel activator. And you get a brush cleaner. So if your um, step two brush starts to kind of gunk up, I just take this brush off, set it to the side, take that brush out of the um, base and stick it in there, give it a couple good shakes, take it out, wipe it off, do it again, wipe it off with a lint free uh, little pad and clean my brush. So those are the four um, liquids that you get and it is the ASAP Quick Dip. That's it, it's not wanting to focus, are you? There we go. So it's the, AS, it's the ASP set and there was a couple different sets, but that's the one I grabbed. It also came with like a little um, Reservoir catch tray. Um, I have used this when I'm doing clear and I have glitter on my nails. And I don't want to stick my nails down uh, the glitter into the clear. I just pour it over and catch it. So it came with that tray and it came with two colors. I have used the rose petal, but I have not used the cream soda. So um, cream soda is just a nice neutral, just a nice, just kind of off white neutral. I'm not going to open these because it would be a mess, but it is, let me put it in front of my face so you can see, cream soda. And then you get a rose petal pink, which is just a really pretty baby pink, rose petal pink. So that's everything that came in the kit. So far, I'm really liking it. Um, it does take some practice. I have watched a ton of tutorials here on YouTube to kind of learn what to do, what not to do, um, just different, you know, t tips and tricks, you know, of people that have done it a lot longer than me. I have picked up extra colors. I have two, four, six, seven extra colors that I have picked up over time, one of which is on my nails, and I'll show that one to you. There is a hint of glitter. I was playing around with some um, hollow flakes. And put that on there. So what I do have on my nails is Bahama Mama. It's this one. And it's just a really pretty corally orange. But just to show you like the difference of what it looks like in the pot. And what it looks like on the nail. That's what it looks like in the pot. And that's what it looks like on the nail. And that is two dips. Well, actually like two and a half. Because I do the apex I do like the partial nail dip and then I do two full dips. So two and a half dips, maybe. The, uh, um, let's see, I have a couple glitters. I'm gonna save the glitters. I have more glitters than I thought. Am I missing a glitter? 
I think I'm missing a glitter. No, I've got it. Okay. This is Silver Sheen. I have not used this one yet. It looks like a really shiny like it's going to be like a like a chrome i have not used this one yet quick dip it doesn't say like chrome or anything but it looks like it's going to be really really shiny and i got shine down on me which is a darker pink just to show you next to the rose petal pink This one is Shine Down On Me. I have used this one. It's pretty. Okay. And then I have a blue. And I don't think, I think this was clearance when I got it. So they probably don't, I don't think they have this one anymore. Wild Blue Yonder. And it's just a really pretty Probably it'll probably be darker than that once it's on the nail. So like a medium blue tone. Okay, and the blue, and then I have clear, which is is just clear, and that's what I put over top of my glitters. So when I file my glitters, I am not like digging down into them and messing them up. So this is just a clear. Oops, I think I need to tighten my lid up. Crystal clear. Nope, it's in there. It was just a little bit on the side wall there. And then I have a blue glitter to use when I do the wild blue yonder. This is Misty Surf. It looks like this. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't wait to do this one. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, and then the other glitter I have is called Pink Unicorns, and it's just a pale, pale white with a little bit of um, hollow in there, maybe. It's really pale, kind of pink, maybe. Yeah, it is a really pale, pale, pale just a hint of pink and a lot of the um, kind of aqua blue and gold glitter is what it looks like when you open it. I'm not going to open it. It's going to, it'll make a mess. But that is what I've been playing with. I still have all my gel polish. I, you know, I love doing my nails, but right now my fingertips are just absolutely, they're pitiful. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, because I do have lotion and oil all over them right now. So they do look pretty good. They're peeling. There you can see there. They're peeling. And like even on my thumbs, all the way down into here, all the way down into here, like even in the crook of my thumb, there's peeling. All this is peeled. And I don't know what's doing it. I think it's one one of those two things. The hard gel I've had an allergy, a, a reaction to, or the new ointment that I'm using for my psoriasis. And the sad thing about that is, is it's working really good on my psoriasis. Um, some of the, the plaques or the patches or areas of psoriasis, um, which some of them, like I said, are as big as my palm, um, they're clearing up and the they're they're clearing up and i can actually see skin again um and that's fantastic but one of the side effects it says is peeling skin so i don't know it's one of those two things is what i think it's one of those two things so i am going to wear gloves from now on when applying that medicine i'm gonna wear gloves and i'm not going to use the hard gel or gel polish for a little while uh, until these clear up and we'll see what happens from there um but yeah um i'm really enjoying the the dip powders like i said it does take some practice i do have a small e-file which makes it a lot easier 
um, there is a unboxing and a kind of like a review on this and I've used it in some of my nail videos. This is the like one of the smallest Melody Susie e-files that you can get. It was under $20, but um, for all the applications that I use it for, it gets the job done. However, I do want to upgrade to one that has like the full chuck on it. You can change out the bits and I have a wider variety of bits. Um, I like this one because it plugs up into a outlet, not a SUB. Um, but yeah, for what I paid, it gets the it gets the job done. So I have been using it and using it, but I I would like to upgrade to an, a little bit better one now that I've learned how to use it. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know if you do like SNS nails. If you go to a salon and get your nails done. SNS nails, it's the same thing. Um, or if you do the, the dip powders, um, I'm following a couple really awesome ladies on YouTube that do amazing nail art with the dip powders. And I'm on some really cool Facebook groups now to learn how to do these um, dip powders. So if you do your own nails at home, let me know down below what you're using. Is there any tools that you're gonna recommend? Um, let me know down below whether it be regular, regular nail polish because guys, I still have a ton of that. Gel polish, dip powder, poly gel, whatever you're using. Let me know down below because I might check it out. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.